Trump is the great environmentalist. Do you hear that, Ed? Do you hear that? The controversial sale of oil and gas leases in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge was one of former President Donald Trump's parting shots. One that President Joe Biden tried to reverse on his first day in office through an executive order. On Tuesday, his interior secretary suspended the leases in response to that, saying, My review of the Coastal Plain oil and gas leasing program has identified multiple legal deficiencies in the underlying record supporting the leases. The secretary said the previous administration had failed to properly analyse alternatives in granting their approval and promised a new environmental analysis. The 8 million hectare plain on Alaska's northern coast is home to polar bears, caribou and migratory birds. Environmentalists and indigenous groups had warned of dire consequences to their habitat and already filed lawsuits against the project. Although the suspension serves as a way to boost President Biden's climate credentials, he's come under criticism recently over his support for another drilling project in Alaska and other oil and gas leases in Wyoming. Greenpeace says more needs to be done, that the bar for President Biden and his administration has never been whether they can reverse the climate destruction of the previous administration, but if they'll do what science and justice demand to stop the climate crisis. The environmental group urges the president to keep his promise to phase out fossil fuels and end oil and gas leasing altogether.